Hi, I'm May. Come make some musical electronics with me. Let's get intellectual. Welcome back to the Psychedelic Cherry. I'm May McDonough. Um, today, we're going to do something terribly embarrassing and fun for you and not for me. So <laughs> I took a poll and uh, most of you, a good 60% of you said you wanted to see more pedal oriented videos. Um, and uh, I realized it's been a while since I looked inside the drawer of no return. This is the point of no return. Now the drawer of no return is a drawer that I threw pedals that f infuriated me in my early days of pedal building into. Um, there are pedals that I started out learning on and never even finished. There are pedals that I had working for a while, used for a few years, and then suddenly they stopped working, and for whatever reason, I abandoned them instead of repairing them. And there are pedals that, frankly, just I tried over and over and over again to get working and or fix and really struggled with and eventually put away. Most of them, most of them were gifts to my brother which he never received. So we're gonna go into this drawer in my garage. My garage is a bit horrifying because it's where we do all of our fabricating, art projects, etc. Make big shitty messes and rarely clean them up. Embarrassing for me, fun for you, let's go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's so bad. Here we go, here we go. That's a lot. That's a lot to handle. Oh my God, there's that many pedals I've abandoned that I need to fix. Some of these are just enclosures, like clearly these guys back here. I made this, I was making a pedal for John Dwyer of the OCs or whatever the fuck they're called now. And I just kept fucking up the enclosure. So I did it three times. Um, <laughs> I think I, this one I fucked up the paint, and this one I drilled the wrong size hole and just could not deal with it, so I abandoned it. I could definitely put something cool in it now. It's just an enclosure for a maestro. Why is there no pedal in this? I don't even know why I abandoned this. It's just an enclosure I painted. Maybe I just never got around to building the pedal. What else is just an enclosure? This was practicing my marbling technique, which I never do anymore. This is my proudest marbling job because it actually looks like marble stone. But again, not an abandoned pedal, per se. This one, too. So these are just enclosures. Okay. So that leaves most of the rest of these. Looks like I've got even got some boards I made myself that probably were the first couple circuit boards I ever printed myself. This... Yeah, I definitely made this myself. <laughs> Oof. Oof. 
That's not good. And then I've even got an oscilloscope that I tried to make myself that I abandoned. So maybe I should pull these out and kind of go over what they are and take a look. Yeah. All right. So <clears throat> ended up grabbing five petals out of my drawer that were actually petals at one time, not just enclosures that I've painted. So let's first one is this guy. This is the first petal I ever made. Um, I think it was a Moserite Fuzzrite clone. And I think I got the kit from General Guitar Gadgets. Um, definitely start out with a kit if you're thinking of starting out. And this is a great one to start out with because it's very simple. There's only two potentiometers involved and uh, an LED. Obviously, those are missing right now. Um, Okay, so there's not even a circuit board in here. There's no PCB. So that means that uh, I must have grabbed the pedal out of this and put it in something else at some point. These parts are looking a little janky and the circuit board's missing. So I guess I won't be repairing this, although I still kind of like the enclosure I made. Um, Maybe I'll use it for something. Um, the next thing I have is this lovely lady. I painted her and uh, she is scandalously positioned. But uh, it's a DOD filter clone. Also a really simple build, as you can see. Um, this, I just plugged this in and it works. I don't know why I threw it in that drawer. So two of these petals I'm not even going to have to fix. I'm really excited about that. So now that brings us to the real trouble. Um, this is a petal. I think it's a easy vibe that I was building for my brother for a Christmas present or a birthday present. I made this beautiful marble enclosure and uh, I don't know when I plugged it in it got a uh, clean sound, but uh, no sound when the effect was activated. And in the Easy Vibe, there's not even a uh, LED to uh, give you the signal that the activation is working. So I have no way of knowing how good the power flow is. Um, now it does work clean. So what does that tell us? It tells us the input and output is good. Um, so I probably don't need to take a look at those jacks, but I probably do. It looks like, hmm, see, I made the circuit board myself and that can always be problematic because, you know, I, it's not a machine doing it. And I'm not perfect. If you've watched my video about how you etch a circuit board, um, it's a lot of just sloshing this thing around inside of a uh, piece of Tupperware. Uh, so despite my best efforts, it's possible that this circuit board is no good. I can see that there's already spots in here where I've tried to fix a trace that probably had some scratches in it or maybe the ink didn't transfer well during the process and ugh, you just don't see much copper there so um it may not have been a great board to work with and i may have wasted a lot of parts throwing them into this now this next one also beautifully marbled i really don't know why i stopped marbling because it really does almost always turns out really beautiful if you don't use Superman colors. Um, it won't look like a child's <laughs> uh, finger painting. But uh, this is a U-boat that I was working on. You can tell that I already, like I drilled this hole t into the enclosure too large for this, for this switch. 
but it works. And then I've taken the knobs off of the potentiometers here, but um, I plugged this in and it lit up. It got clean sound. It just didn't get any effect. There was no sound during the effect. So this is another thing where I want to go through. First, look at my wire connections, tidy that up. Make sure all the joints, the solder is really clean in those lugs, etc. And then I really want to go through the circuit board and make sure everything is positioned properly. I already, like you can tell just looking at it. I looked at these capacitors, for instance. They have polarity and double checked. They're all in correctly. Uh, but if you see an obvious problem, please feel free to tell me I would love to fix this. Um, I have no shame. If, if I'm doing something wrong, please tell me. It, yeah, this is another one I'm going to have to just break out the multimeter for. It's a shame I never even got this to have any sound when it was activated. So hopefully I'll get this up and running. This may have also been originally a gift for someone. I think I wanted to give it to Ty Siegel, but it seems like the kind of pedal he'd like, but uh, boy. So this last pedal, ooh, okay, I know. I got the schematics for this off of Build Your Own Clone, and this is an analog delay pedal. I think I just did the painting with some masking off areas with tape and then some paint pens yeah you see that um and i have been really excited to use this and the fact that i forgot about it and didn't ever finish this pedal makes me really sad um but i did just try plugging it in and uh, so the LED did not light up. So there might be some power issues here. And I think there was a uh, clean sound, but nothing else, which is pretty common. You're gonna run into that a lot because frankly, it's very easy to wire up your inputs and outputs. Um, and, and wiring to potentiometers, input outputs, all the external stuff is actually pretty easy and also easy to repair. So you kind of hope that's the problem, but it's usually um, either something came loose, which would be affecting the input to output probably. Um, so it's probably not that. Or something's shorting somewhere or there's a problem on the circuit board. I never even got this thing to work. So I think there's a problem on the board. So that's it. I think I'll take these to my garage and heat up the soldering iron and uh, break out the multimeter and try and do some work. Uh, I can't do it tonight or I would film it, but uh, I'm DMing tonight, so <laughs> not going to happen. And I really want to get this video to you, so I'll let you guys know later in a later video if I got these things up and running. And if you saw something that I didn't, Please feel fro feel free feel frozen feel frogert. Please feel free to tell me if you saw something. I could appreciate the help. And if you have any questions about these pedals, what they sound like, etc., um, I will happily describe to you what they're supposed to sound like. And uh, yeah, that's it. Subscribe, bell, all that jazz. Seacrest out.